Mumbai based NGO has created a model of low cost quality school education in partnership with the Municipal Corporation of Greater Mumbai. Muktangan was started because it became to me essential to really demonstrate what child centeredness in education could be. In Muktangan, we believe that every child develops in a different way, in a different sequence, at a different speed, and children learn from active engagement in learning experiences. Fun and education go hand in hand at Muktangan, with an innovative holistic curriculum being followed with room to play and learn at their own pace. Children participate in interesting activities ensuring active learning of the academic elements of their syllabus. Equal importance is given to exciting outdoor learning trips, physical education and the performing arts as well. What makes Muktangan's teaching methods even more effective is the average of a 10 to 1 student-teacher ratio. At any given time, three groups are taught independently in each classroom, enabling the teacher to focus on the individual needs of each child. Muktangan's teacher education course ensures each dedicated trainee undergoes a special intensive one-year pre-service training program. The Muktangan family also includes parents of the students in its fold as stakeholders to help them understand how their children learn at school. Catering to the needs of the underserved communities, Muktangan simultaneously provides school and teacher education for the local community. Since its inception in 2003, Muktangan has successfully transformed thousands of lives. Chaya, I am privileged to share my journey with Muktangan and just now you are seeing our Muktangan CV. Prior to joining Muktangan, my role was a housewife. So serving all the family members in my family, cooking, cleaning, I was not allowed to step out of house and having two small children, though my financial condition was not so good in those days, but after completing uh, my role as a elder daughter-in-law in that family of, of educating and settling my brother-in-laws, I started giving tuition to four to five children in my community. So looking at my way of handling children and getting through the children, many families began to approach me for giving tuitions, but I used to select only few children as I am also believing in quality rather than quantity. And this way I started my journey as a housewife to a tuition teacher. So initially, though I had the content knowledge required for a class, primary classes, I was not that confident uh, enough and in sharing my views. But after joining Muktangan, it grew along with Muktangan. And finally, uh, financial in the early years, it was very difficult for me to manage my household expenses also. As I have just now said, uh, being the elder uh, daughter-in-law of that family, educating and all of my uh, other members in family. So even buying a pair of slipper of 20 rupees was a difficult task for me for few uh, times in my life. But now I can proudly say that I'm a mother of two children who are doing engineering in one of the renowned college in Mumbai. And I'm managing to pay fees of my two children. Uh, now, uh, I'll talk about uh, how I became a teacher. 
in 2004 i got to know from uh, one of my friends about muktangan teacher training course i applied for it and i was praying i must get this opportunity and yes i got selected as a trainee and in those were the days when i was giving tuition and i thought it's the right uh, option which is in front of me to choose uh, to be a teacher and my aspiration initially was to be a preschool teacher so that i can spend more time in my families to uh, do my responsibility towards them so uh, having that intention i applied for it i did my training of course it was not that easy in those days uh, and after completing my uh, training i got selected as a teacher but i would like to share my few memories about uh, the training days uh, it was difficult in the sense uh, the medium of instruction in the my training was english and it was little difficult for me to pick up the accent and the Mm, exposure of the pure english which i found was little difficult in the beginning but having a patient uh, trainer in or around me and having uh, giving us all the time confident and listening to us so slowly i started uh, picking up the language our my next difficulty was understanding the concept of child development and philosophies of education so even that got solved Uh, through we got different exposure through role plays hands on activities and this is how i started building my concept and it was the day of graduation ceremony after 6 month of uh, training we were told to share our experiences in front of the parent and those parent were also who were my neighbors and they were surprised to see the change they which they had seen in the last 6 month because we are also from the same community but the change they said and they said yes really will tell the other neighbors also to send their children in muktangan because really it is doing wonderful work in field of education providing uh, quality education to children and first time i was happy to have a full time job that too as a teacher and you know, which is giving respect to me in my area so my journey as a teacher has started it has started with the twist only ki i'll give a few time of the day and rest time i'll do for myself but uh, looking at my performances in the training i was put in primary classes where the working hours were from 9 to 4:30 and as those were the early years for me those were the early years of muktangan also and parent were treating our school as if it's a bmc school yes we are working with bmc schools but they were not taking us that being a responsible parent in sending their children regularly to school which we had many formal and informal meetings for sending regularly to school or sending nutritious snacks about school or not to pressurize their children in reading and writing only because they were comparing my this child is going to this school so why this child is not writing so those kind of things as we believe in the maturity level of the child and understanding his uh, child's level of understanding so slowly we even we brought we change in our parent also so uh, after that in 2006 i got selected promoted as a facilitator so where my role also got widened maintaining account in school uh observing classes observing helping teachers in the classroom doing children observation um mentoring or uh, orienting the visitors in muktangan so those things were slowly came into my role and i think along with me muktangan teachers we all believe in understanding the child so and we make conscious effort to understand his di- difficulty so that we can provide him support really when it is required but not at the end of the term so with the growing muktangan i also got opportunity in 2008 i got promoted as a school head as a faculty in charge of one of the mps school which is similar as a, a principal in other school we in muktangan even though we are faculty facilitator we are always there in teaching so that we can be in close to the pedagogy and of course with the child who is the driver of this system what we believe in 
recently we had one uh, corporate who had their visit and he said that uh, they are always working hard to um, they work hard for their product so in the same way we feel child is our main uh, thing of concentration so where also and how in uh, corporate they uh, customize their product according to the needs of the customer so there in the same way in muktangan we customize our learning our teaching methods in classroom so that we can get we can go to the child's level in muktangan we have almost 20% of the children in muktangan who have who are cognitively challenged and to understand their difficulty we design our lesson plan we uh, make iep with them so that they we can reach up to the child's level and recent uh, survey also has says that 50% of the st student in india though they have reached up to standard 4 still they have not yet reached up to standard 2 though they are there on papers as they have reached up to standard 4 but in fact they are in standard 2 level only but uh, in muktangan we create opportunities for children no matter he is fast learner or slow learner we create opportunities for learning together and enjoy the learning what do they uh, do in the school so in the same way i would like to uh, conclude my uh, learning as a teacher that though i am not expert in teaching and spending 10 years or working 10 year in muktangan as a as a teacher as a faculty as a facilitator i have important learnings in first is what the child as i have already said the child is the real driver of the school system and the teacher she her role is not just to instruct the child but to guide and mentor the child and understand his difficulty and get get it out of the chil the child i think that is the real sense of education and another thing is knowledge if we see outside knowledge will find everywhere if you go you can refer 100 books you will have so many things you will find on internet but the thing what we all have to see is the teachers and the child they should understand each other's role if they respect each other role i think that will be better for their learning and the learning of the society in in the end i would like to uh, say my sharing in the last thing i want to say that i would not have possible to successfully fulfill my role as a mother as a trainee as a teacher as a facilitator faculty and of course as a citizen of this country without if muktangan was had not given me confidence and ability built in me to speak in front of you because this is my first time on stage and i was very nervous in the beginning i don't know uh, and i am completely different chaya the way i am there today from the time when i walked in for a interview as a trainee in 2004 uh, so i want to end up my note uh, विद दिस थिंग दैट कल तक मैं किसी की छाया में थी और आज मैं किसकी छाया हूँ